Hey guys, is it possible to do a how-to video when you don't know how to do something? We'll see here today. We're going to try to remedy the problem that most solstices had, at least 2006 ones did. Let me show you the problem. Okay, so one of the issues we hear a lot about, at least this 2006 solstice, is the handbrake. Here, if I pull this all the way up, I can go outside. Like if I was on a hill right now, it would just roll away I mean it doesn't it doesn't do anything and so there's different um, instructions about how to take this piece off here and adjust the cable but most people say that the problem is in the back behind this caliper so solstice has had some sort of a like an automatic adjusting piston on the caliper that worked with the parking brake so when you pull it up, the piston is supposed to go ahead and push your brake pads in, but those things froze up like on all of these. So um, what we're supposed to be able to do is take this caliper off and twist that piston clockwise to adjust it back out and then get in there and pump the brakes and pull up on it and it's supposed to re release it and get to where it starts working again. I think we have to do that on both sides. So let's try this and see what if that works. So once you have the tire off and the car is securely in the air, I've got a jack stand under it and a jack. First thing we're gonna do is pop off these little caps right here. Well, there we have this little plastic cap. There should be one on each end. There's a second one. And then there is an Allen screw going through here. We have to take those loose. And then we have to remove this clip right here. So let's figure out what size Allen screw. Okay, so it is a seven millimeter bolt or Allen screw. A seven millimeter Allen wrench. Loosen that up. And I don't think you have to take it all the way out, just loosen it. That's not hard, okay. Should come off. So there's my brake shoes, which still have tons of wear on them. And there's the other one, the back side. Go ahead and take it off so it doesn't fall off. Now, here is the thing that we're looking for right here. So, according to what I've seen in red, we need to turn this clockwise, this piston and that will, as far as it will go, and that will reset it. All right, I finally found some needle nose pliers. So I'm gonna twist this thing all the way clockwise as far as it'll go. It looks like it's about one turn. It's not real easy to twist, it's, it's got some pressure. Okay, I've turned that like 20 times, so I don't see how it can go any further or it can do anything. I think it's just spinning, so I'm going to put it back together and then uh, see if it does anything in there. I'll put it on time lapse we'll get it all put back in. back together and like I said that thing that piston just kept spinning and never did get tight 
So I don't know if that did anything or not. So what we'll do is go in there and we'll push on the brake and that should push that piston back forward. And then we'll try to set the, the emergency brake and see if that actually has pressure on it this time. Cause remember it went all the way up a while ago. So let's push the brake. It went all the way down. So that should have set it. So what I did was I just held on the button and I just pumped it a few times. And now it acts like it's setting. So I haven't done anything to the other side of the car yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and go over there and try that too. I think it's definitely gonna work. I'm gonna go ahead and put this tire back on and then we'll uh, jack up the other side and do it. And uh, it's really fast once you figure out how to get it off. It should be really easy. So we'll do that. I won't video that and then I'll let you know how it goes. All right, the other side is done. So I want to go ahead and take this thing outside and get it on the slope and we'll see if it actually works. You remember how when I got to this caliper on this driver's side, how when I turned this piston, it just spun and spun and spun and never would tighten up. When I did the opposite side, it only spun probably one revolution and then it tightened up. So I'm not sure what that means, but I did both sides and it was starting to tighten up. The handle was starting to tighten up after I did this side. So I don't know if that action just loosens it up and unfreezes it, the piston, where it works again or what the deal is, but. Well, that definitely fixed it, guys. So we've got, I let it roll down the slope out behind the, out the shop door there. And now look how far up the handle goes and it's, it'll stop the car. So I just let it coast down there and I pulled up on the brake and it stopped it. Before it would not even do anything. It just kept rolling like you didn't, like didn't pull it at all. So that is how you fix a solstice parking brake problem that they all have. So probably took 30 minutes, pretty easy.